Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, we will have a look at Git reflog, we will squash some commits and we will undo a rebase. Git reflog is a very useful tool that runs behind the scenes and records the movement of the head every time you switch branches, every time you reset to a specific commit, all of this is recorded in the reflog and you can then navigate through the history and reset to a specific point. That's where you can find the exact commit that you want to reset to, maybe after rebase or merge. Now let's jump back to VS Code and see what our git reflog looks like at this moment. Okay, so at the top is the current head, that's where we're pointing at the moment and it says that we've moved from my branch to his branch, okay? And all of this is the history of how the head was moving as we were doing some of the rebasing and checking out different branches. So everything that we've done since I've checked out this repo is recorded in the git reflog. If we quit by colon and Q, we can uh, check out the, the other branch. So if I change to my branch, then we will see the reflog being updated. And now we moved back from his branch to my branch. Okay, so as you can see, every time you check out different branch or do anything where the head is moving, you will find it over here. You will see how this is useful in terms of reverting your rebase. So let's firstly do a rebase. We have three commits on my branch and two commits on his branch, similar to our rebase tutorial. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. And we will jump to VS Code and merge these two branches or rebase my branch with his changes. This will bring his changes into my branch and apply my commits on top of it. Now, if we check out the git ref log, we should see that the rebase started so the rebase started over here, then we applied the C commit and then the rebase finished. Okay, so these three last changes are the start, progress and finish of the rebase. And we want to reset it, we want to undo it. Okay, so I've already reset it before, before I started recording. So there's a couple of these resets. But all we have to do is just to find a point on this timeline that we want to reset to. Okay, so if we want to just undo the last rebase, I could grab this ID or head at three. So any of these two would reset us to that point. Okay, so I'll grab this ID, I'll copy it and I'll quit. And now we will reset to that point. Okay, so git reset and paste in the ID, this will move the head back to that point and unstage any changes since then. These changes are the changes from the rebase and they are currently unstaged. We could discard them if we wanted to by using the reset hard or we could just keep it and keep working like this. Now I've cleaned up the repo and if we look at the git log, we see the three commits ABC and we will now learn how to squash these commits maybe into one or two or change the message. Okay, so that's what we'll do. And for that, we will use rebase as well. We will choose the interactive, so git rebase and hyphen I and we want to rebase the last three commits. Okay, so we need to include the last three and this will open the rebase message or the rebase, rebase progress and will let us to choose some of these commits and drop some of them or edit some of them. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll hit I to enter the insert mode and now we can use some of these options but for now we are only interested in squashing them which is the S. Okay, so we can come over here the first one is the one we definitely want to keep. So the first one has to be pick and then we will change these other two to S for squash. Okay, so if we keep it like this, we are picking the first commit 
and then we are squashing the other two into that. Now we can quit by pressing escape and typing colon WQ. We should see the rebase progressing to the next step. And now it asks us about the messages. It takes all the messages from all these three commits that we're trying to squash. And we have an option either keep the A message or the other two as well. Or if we don't want to include them, oops, I need to firstly hit insert. And if we don't want to include the message, we type in the hash in front of the message. Okay. We can also change the message of the first commit if we want to. And we will change it to a commit. Okay. These two will be removed and they will be not included in the last squashed commit. So the squashed final commit will have just this message. Okay. Again, if I hit escape, colon, write and queue, we should see the message in our git log. And here it is a commit and it has all three our changes. Okay. So this is how you squash one commit or that's how you squash multiple commits into one in the interactive way, choose a message and drop some of them. You can also reorder them. But in this case, we've just squashed three commits into one. Oof, we've done a lot in this video. You've learned how to use the git reflog to look at the point of the history and revert to it, which means you now know how to revert rebase and how to squash commits as well using the rebase. So rebase is very useful and hopefully this tutorial was useful as well. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Until next time, happy coding.